contemplated on what to share at this event. And then I realized how intensely I was thinking, and it occurred to me, there are about a million ideas I'd like to share with you today. But then again, I'm surrounded by people with overwhelming ideas every single day. What if we had an idea that would change the world? What if? The real question, though, is what now? We each have these brilliant, mind-blowing ideas, but what now? When we leave this event today, will we return to our everyday lives with all these ideas packed away in the dusty corners of our minds, just allowed to rot? Did anyone for one moment think that maybe, just maybe you'd meet somebody with a similar mindset like yours to help you bring your idea into reality? I don't think so. We live in a world today where it almost always takes some sort of newspaper headline or awareness campaign for us to unite and work together, when all along we've had these brilliant ideas bottled up in us, just waiting to erupt and take action. But we've withheld it. In a way, we've bereft humans from the ability to work with one another. We talk with such pride and enthusiasm about the advancements of science and technology but what about us? You never hear anyone say, oh, wow, humans are so supportive of each other's ideas or dreams. It's somehow considered awkward, I suppose. In today's world, we have every opportunity to raise awareness, voice out our ideas, and share our, and share our opinions. If one YouTube video about Joseph Kony can go viral overnight, just think about the psychotropic visions you could create if we could collaborate our ideas and help each other implement them. I'm not saying that we should stop making people aware of the negative, but it is also our duty as humans to inject that ray of hope into humanity. I'm here today because I believe we can make a difference. And I believe each of you are here because you are, in fact, here to, eager to hear of our ideas. What if we lived with no political borders? What if there was no limit to the progress in technology? What if we found a cure for AIDS and cancer and every other disease? What if you remembered every word you ever read in a book? What if we used our creativity to be kind to one another? What if we made this our reality? So what I am proposing now is that we do not merely, we, that we do not limit ourselves to merely voicing our opinions, but to go one step further in believing that we strive to make them come alive. So what I'm here to tell you now is that if it's worth spreading, then it's worth doing. I'd like to leave you with this quote by Martin Luther King. Our loyalties must transcend our tribe, our race, our class, and our nation. And for this, we must develop a world perspective. Thank you.